our minds, stir our hearts, move our being, nourish our spirit, make us one body with the living word of God, make us one body with the living word of God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, Father. And welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary. Let's begin our celebration by, by first pausing for a while. Call to mind all our sins and all our failures and ask God for forgiveness and strength. You were sent to heal the contrite of art. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, strength of those who hope in you, graciously hear our pleas. And since without you mortal frailty can do nothing, grant us always the help of your grace, that in following your commands, we may please you by our resolve and our deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the second book of Kings. When the Lord was about to take Elijah up to heaven in a whirlwind, he and Elisha were on their way from Gilgal. Elijah said to Elisha, Please stay here. The Lord has sent me on to the Jordan. As the Lord lives, and as you yourself live, I will not leave you. Elisha replied. And so the two went on together. Fifty of the guild prophets followed, and when the two stopped at the Jordan, they stood facing them at a distance. Elijah took his mantle, rolled it up, and struck the water, which divided, and both crossed over on dry ground. When they had crossed over, Elijah said to Elisha, As for whatever I may do for you before I am taken from you. Elisha answered, May I receive a double portion of your spirit? You have asked something that is not easy, Elijah replied. Still, if you see me taken up from you, your wish will be granted otherwise not. As they walked on conversing, a flaming chariot and flaming horses came between them, and Elijah went up to heaven in a whirlwind. When Elijah saw it happen, he cried out, My father, my father, Israel's chariots and drivers. But when he could no longer see him, Elijah gripped his own garment and tore it in two. Then he picked up Elijah's mantle that had fallen from him and went back and stood at the bank of the Jordan. Wielding the mantle that had fallen from Elijah, Elisha struck the water in his turn and said, Where is the Lord, the God of Elijah? When Elisha struck the water, it divided and he crossed over. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let your hearts take comfort, all who hope in the Lord. Let your hearts take comfort, all who hope in the Lord. How great is the goodness, O Lord, which you have in store for those who fear you 
and which toward those who take refuge in you. You show in the sights of the children of men. Let your hearts take comfort, all who hope in the Lord. You hide them in the shelter of your presence from the plattings of men. You screen them within your abode from the strife of tongues. Let your hearts take comfort, all who hope in the Lord. Love the Lord, all you his faithful ones. The Lord keeps those who are constant, but more than requites those who act proudly. Let your hearts take comfort, all who hope in the Lord. Please stand. loves me will keep my word and my father will love him and we will come to him the Lord be with you and with your spirit a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew glory to you O Lord Jesus said to his disciples, Take care not to perform righteous deeds in order that people may see them. Otherwise, you will have no recompense from your heavenly Father. When you give alms, do not blow a trumpet before you, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets to win the praise of others. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you give alms, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your almsgiving may be secret, and your Father, who sees in secret, will repay you. When you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, who love to stand and pray in the synagogues and on the street corners, so that others may see them. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you pray, go into your inner room, close the door, and pray to your Father in secret. And your Father, who sees in secret, will repay you. When you fast, do not look gloomy like the hypocrites. They neglect their appearance so that they may appear to others to be fasting. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you fast, anoint your head and wash your face, so that you may not appear to others to be fasting, except to your Father who is hidden. And your Father who sees what is hidden will repay you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang hapon ulit po sa inyong lahat and welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary. Yung mga describe sa atin ng Panginoon sa Gospel ay tungkol sa righteousness. Niisip ko kung talaga sa Tagalog yung righteousness, righteous living. Yung pinakamalapit na isip ko ay pamumuhay ng totoo, pamumuhay ng tapat, faithful, true, at pamumuhay ng tuwid straight. So, tatlong T's para, para mamuhay ng righteous. Pamumuhay ng tapat. Tapat kanina. Tapat sa Diyos. Tapat sa Panginoon. Pamumuhay ng tuwid. Ibig sabihin, hindi, hindi nakakasakit ng iba. Uh, at pamumuhay ng totoo. Ibig sabihin, yung mga sa tamang paniniwala, tamang pag-iisip ang ating mga ginagawa. Iba kasi, ang feeling nila kapag sila ay sila ay righteous o sila ay holy kapag lagi silang nagdarasal. Lagi silang nagsisimba. Lagi silang laman ng simbahan. Marami silang mga um, prayers na gina- memoriado na prayers na ginagawa. Hindi naman masama yun. Wala namang masama doon. Pero ang kabanalan, tunay na kabanalan, hindi lang nasa pagdarasal ng ganyan. Yun, pag, uh, pagsasabi ng dasal ang tunay na kabanalan, eh higit pa dyan. 
Haanin mo kasi dasal ka lang ng dasal, simba ka lang ng simba. Pagdating mo naman sa labas o kahit sa loob ng simbahan, eh wala kang pakialam. Hinihimatay na yung katabi mo, wala ka pa rin ginagawa. Wala kang pakialam sa iba. Holy ba yun? Righteous ba yun? Totoo ba yun? Tapat? Tuwid? Parang hindi, ano? Parang hindi. Hindi pwede mamuhay ng puro dasal lang, puro feeling mo ikaw ay banal, ikaw ay holy. Kapag tandaan yun, kapag tandaan natin yun, kapag tayo inisip na natin na tayo'y holy, ay nako, tayo ay huli. Huli na tayo. Dahil ang holiness, hindi dapat natin inaako sa ating sarili yan. Dapat nagagaling yan sa Diyos. At ang holiness din ay hindi lang feeling better, feeling mas mabuti ka, mas matuwid ka, mas magaling ka, mas mabait ka kaysa sa iba. Hindi. Feeling holy is caring, caring for others. Kaya nga ang tunay na holiness, tunay na righteousness, ay yung nag-iisip ng kabutihan ng iba. Palabas. Palabas ang concern. Palabas ang, ang uh, ayun, yung concern. No? Hindi yung sarili. Hindi papasok. Hindi papasok. Hindi humahanap ng praising. Hindi humahanap ng glorification. Hindi humahanap na siya purihin o sasabihin ng tao sa ay holy, holy mo. Hindi nang hinahanap ng isang tunay na holy person o righteous person. Di ba? Ang tunay na righteous person yung gumagawa palagi, nag-iisip sa kapakanan, nakabutihan ng ibang tao. Kaya nga kung makikita natin yung example sa binigay ni Jesus tungkol sa almsgiving, sa prayer, sa fasting. Natatandaan ninyo, ito yung tatlong mga, mga exercises na nire-recommend sa atin kapag Lent. Almsgiving, prayer, and fasting. Ano siya yung sabi ni Jesus dito? Tuwing gagawa ka ng kahit alin dyan, huwag dun sa lantaran, hindi dun sa, sa kalye, hindi sa palengke, hindi sa labas kung saan nakikita ng tao. Kung ikaw ay nagpa-fasting, huwag kang magpamukhang gutom na gutom, na walang, walang uh, energy. Dahil ang pag, paggagawa ng mabuti, paggagawa ng tama, paggagawa ng banal na mga bagay, ay hindi papasok. Hindi siya papunta sa sarili. Palabas. Kaya nga yung almsgiving, eh, di ba? Nagbibigay ka ng tulong sa ibang tao. Almsgiving, no? Limos. Tumutulong ka sa ibang tao. Bago ka tumulong sa ibang tao, nakita mo muna kung ano yung pangailangan ng ibang tao. You first are aware of the needs of others, not yours, others. And you supply the needs of others. Prayer. Ano ba yung prayer? Hindi naman prayer sa amin. Hindi, ang prayer naman, hindi ibig sabihin lang eh, Lord, tulungan mo ko. Lord, pagandahin mo ang buhay ko. Lord, pagalingin mo ang sakit ko. Nag-iisip din tayo dapat ng ibang tao, di ba? Pinagdadasal natin ng Ukraine, pinagdadasal natin yung mga taong na uh, biktima ng mga magdanakaw, mga ma- mamatay tao, mga magdaraya. Iniisip din natin yung ibang tapay. Dadasal natin yung mga magulang natin, kapatid natin, anak natin. Iniisip natin yung iba. Madalas para sa iba. Ang tunay na prayer, nag-iisip ng ibang tao. Kung hindi man, ang tunay na tunay na prayer talaga, nakikisa sa Diyos. Union with God. And when you, when you are united with, with God, you hardly think of yourself. You think of God and all the things and the people that God loves, which is others. Puro others, maka-others, maka para sa iba. Fasting, o hindi ka, nag, hindi ka nagbabawas ka ng kain. Bakit? Para ka hindi dumip, dumipendi sa pagkain. Para sa iyong inconvenience, sa inconvenience ng pagkagutom, eh, umaasa ka sa Diyos. Ang Diyos ang inaasahan natin. Hindi yung pagkain, hindi yung kayamanan, hindi yung material na bagay. At kung ano man yung hindi natin ginagamit, hindi natin kinakain, hindi natin uh, ini-enjoy, sipin natin, pwede natin ibigay sa iba. Again, for others. Yun ang tunay na righteousness. Yun ang tunay na holiness is putting others first 
even before us. Inuuna natin yung kapakanan ng iba. Paano ko nalaman yan? Paano natin nasabi yan? Hindi ko hindi naman sa akin ang galing yun eh. Pinakita sa atin ng Panginoon. Di ba? This is what God showed us. He gave His only Son, His beloved Son for us. And that Son gave His life for us. Offered Himself to die on the cross for us. Not for Himself. Not for, not for Himself, not for God, not for the Father. But for us. Para sa ating kaligtasan. Holiness is always for the others. Para sa iba. Righteousness, ang pamumuhay ng tuo, totoo, ng tapat, ng tuwid, ay para sa iba. Bakit yung mga, mga holy people, mga kina, tinaguri ang holy people, di ba? Hindi naman sarili nila, iniisip nila. Ibang tao lang palagi. Diyos at ibang tao. Imagine natin, di ba? Kung buong mundo, kung lahat ng tao sa mundo, ganito ang sisikapin lagi na iniisip yung kapakanan ng ibang tao. Imagine nyo, kung bawat tao, lahat ng tao sa gobyerno, sa simbahan, sa ibang bansa, kahit saan, lahat ng tao saan, ano? Kung merong sumpa na baliktad, <clears throat> sumpa na para ang bawat isa ay, is, ay mag-iisip, mamumuhay para sa ibang tao, para sa kapakanan ng iba. Ay, guys, di pa parang nasa langit na tayo niyan? Parang langit sa lupa. Lahat ng tao nag-iisip, caring for the needs of others. Kahit hindi pa natin na matutupad totally, pwede natin subukan. Pwede natin subukan. Pwede natin umpisahan ngayon na. Pwede natin laging isaisip Laging isaisip, lahat ang ginagawa natin para sa iba. Let us all stand down. Let us pray today to God, to the God of truth and love, for truthfulness and sincerity in the church and in the world. And after each petition, we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may take to heart the task and the mission of renewal, so that Christ may be clearly perceived by all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That priests and religious may be assiduous proclaimers of the gospel through their witness of life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That civic and community leaders may be sincere and unselfish in their effort to bring justice, dignity, and unity to the people they are called to serve. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick and those who find life burdensome may see God's special love and care through the concern of their families. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may enjoy God's everlasting peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for our own personal intentions and for the special intentions of this Mass. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Father, help us to love and to serve you in spirit and in truth through Jesus, who is our way to you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness you have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
Bless thy Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. O God, who in the offerings presented here provide for the twofold needs of human nature, nourishing us with food and renewing us with your sacrament, grant, we pray, that the sustenance they provide may not fail us in body or in spirit, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Found of all holiness, make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Socrates, our Bishop, and all the clergy, remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with St. Joseph, our most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life 
and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please, sister. Let us pray now to our Father in heaven in the words that our Lord himself has taught us. Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. <clears throat> Lamb of God, you take, you take away, away the sins, sins of, of the world, world. have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins, sins of the world, world. have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God you take, take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to this banquet. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. As this reception of your Holy Communion, O Lord, foreshadows the union of the faithful in you, so may it bring about unity in your church through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for the announcement. The Mary Help of Christian Seminary System is inviting all young men in high school, college, or young professionals to consider a vocation to be a priest for the service of the Archdiocese of Lingayen Dagupan. A vocation to the priesthood is a special grace not given to all men. It is great blessing for a family to be able to offer a son or brother to be a priest. Those who are interested to enter the seminary are invited to approach any of the priests in the parish who will gladly assist them in the seminary admission requirements. Let us beg the Lord to send more priests to his vineyard in Lingayen, Dagupan. Let us now prepare to, reserve, to receive the final blessings. Thank you. Please stand. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat sa pakikisa sa Santa Misa. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. We go in the peace and the love of Christ. Thanks be to God. We now pray for the sick and bless your religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, 
so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary, may all these articles be blessed and those who use them made holy, as they fulfill the will of God according to the example of the Blessed Mother, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.